Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the Backflip F1 hard tonneau cover on our 2021 Ford Ranger. Now this guy is definitely one of your more premium tonneau covers, and that's for a lot of great reasons. It has a lot of amazing features that really start setting it ahead of the pack. Right away, as you can see, we are getting a very low profile design on here. One thing I really like about it, as the name mentioned, it does have a hard cover. It also has a great little tri-fold design. As you guys can see, it's gonna have quick and easy access to actually pop open just a little bit the sides of here and we can actually get that three times out of the way. Now I can quickly access the bed of my truck. Because it sits on the inside of our bed rails, you're only getting about three eighths of an inch to the height added to the bed here. So not only is it gonna be nice and thick and resistant to any kind of damage or us setting our own tools in here, it also is gonna be made of fiberglass and can be very resistant to those UV rays. So we actually are gonna be keeping this cover color on this cover for a very long time. On the inside too, and our frame mounts are made of a airplane grade aluminum. So it is gonna be very, very sturdy for us. And with that as well, as you mentioned, you are getting that added security threat. Nobody can walk up with a knife and slice open as they could those soft covers. So as long as our tailgate locks, all of our things are also gonna be secured. On the inside, we actually do have a very easy release system to actually make these move. You'll see that little plastic lever on the inside as we pull that down is gonna be releasing on both sides. Something I really like. A lot of times tonneau covers, you're having to play with that plastic or belt or that hook and loom loop on both sides can be kind of a mess. However, I really like how quick and easy that is. And if we wanted to, we can just go partially or as you're seeing, I can go ahead and fold up all the way. Not only can we get to this position, and if we wanted to, we could actually write it in this position, breaking up our cam buckles here. If I can get them to cooperate with me for a second. And you can see I could actually attach this to the back here if I wanted. That'll be a good, a good job of making sure that we won't actually be losing this and it won't be flipping up as we drive. So if we needed something, we had like a, you know, a little something sticking out in the end. Nice that we have just a little bit of versatility for our cover system. And with this as well, we can actually fold this up all the way by giving one more release and bringing it up. And the rubber bumpers that we have on there do a good job of protecting our cab. And in this position as well too, we do have a little prop rod. All we have to do, loosen up this knob, slide that up, slide it back down and repeat on the other side. And you can see how well that does of holding this up. Now I can get in here, mess with any tools or anything I might need with no problem at all. Now I think the backflip does an excellent job of sealing the entirety of our bed. However, if we have any moisture actually collecting inside our rails, as you can see, we do have just a little drain plug here that makes it quick and easy for that water to escape instead of into our bed. Our first step in our installation is we're gonna go ahead and add on our bulkhead seal. Now, if you have a drop-in bed liner, you won't actually need this, but if you have a spray on like us today or just a natural bed, you will wanna go ahead and throw this seal on. To do so, we wanna just remove that adhesive kind of covering on our tape here. As you can see, that's gonna be exposing that sealant. Now on the top here though, I wanna go ahead and make sure we don't have any kind of debris on here. You can notice today it's doing a good job, nothing really crazy on here. I would just want to make sure it's just nice and clean before we start putting our seal on. You'll notice how I wanna put the seal on exactly on this bulkhead. I want that curved side facing our cab and I wanna make this straight flush side, flush and even with our inner wall here on our bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy down just a little bit here. And we actually want it right up against our side rails there, as you can see. And I do want this even and straight on the entirety of my bulkhead here. You can see, making sure we are flush on the inside of our bed. And we'll go ahead and put this down on the entirety of our bulkhead. And now here we actually wanna go ahead and actually trim this piece up to fit our rail. Now that we've gotten that extra little bit cut off, just wanna go ahead and fit our seal down against the side of our rail. Again, trying to get as flush as we can with the inside of our bed. Now that we have that bulkhead seal in place, we wanna make sure that the rest of it is actually covered. Underneath this bed rail cap is actually a hole that we could, you know, wind and water could start getting into. So we're going ahead and throw in this little foam blocker just to help reduce that hole size. So we're gonna go ahead and take off the top of this just to expose our adhesive a little bit. 
even that like so. Now, you could put the tape on the bottom side here. However, I'm only getting about a finger's width of actually contact there. So I'm gonna go ahead and utilize the top of my bed rail to actually put this guy in. Trying to get as much surface area as I can for our tape. We just kinda wanna pinch this guy in, get him in position, get him a little bit further. We don't want him to be too exposed though, especially that we can't see it on the side, but the outside. Now that we have it set, we just kinda wanna try and fill in this space with that foam blocker covering up as much of that as we can. So as you can see, we are gonna have just a few little spots to start filling in, but we have a little putty to help us fill that in. It's definitely not gonna be too crazy, it won't do anything crazy to your skin, but we wanna go ahead and just kinda fill in these little small holes that are still here. And go ahead, kinda fill it around the edges and then push in slightly to start filling that gap. Nothing too crazy though, as you can see. Just a little something to help clog that. You can see we have a little bit of exposure between our foam blocker as well. So I'm gonna go ahead, try to also pull that in. And if you live a little tack on your fingers, you can use the big ball to try to pull off the rest. So I'm gonna go ahead, just kind of adding that in. And we'll fill in a little bit more just to make sure we aren't having any holes. All right, now that we've got that all filled in, we're gonna go ahead and repeat the process on the other side. So our next step, we wanna go ahead and install our rail brackets. Now on these guys, they are gonna be marked. You can see this is passenger rear. So it's gonna be going towards our tailgate here. See that little PR on there. Now we want our kind of flange with this little post on the end going towards our tailgate. We want our threaded bolt here actually fitting inside of our hinge on the inside. Now it's gonna be a little hard for you guys to see, but we do want this gonna be sitting itself like that underneath our rail here. If we can, we can see that we have a small little hole right above my fingernail there. That's actually where that little kind of post is gonna go. And then our threaded bolt is gonna go ahead and slot itself in here. Now, since we have a spray on bed liner, you can see we have a little bit of gunk around here. So I'm actually just gonna take my drill and draw out just a little bit of this to accommodate our bracket. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get that bolt in first, kind of lining up my edge here. I'm gonna kind of ahead and sling it to the side to get it in that last position. And then just kind of pressing up on this bracket it can really help to get a second pair of hands or just kind of get that plastic piece up. You can see pushing it in there, starting to find itself. And we really wanna fit this in between our plastic cap and our metal bed liner. Now with this guy, we actually found a pretty quick little trick I wanna go ahead and make sure when we put this bracket in, there's actually like kind of an exposed part right on the inside here. We're gonna go ahead and line that up with this metal bracket that you'll feel on the inside of this rail. Now that thread right here, you see where that latch is? We actually wanna make sure that thread is sticking out and we wanna slide that into that position. That's gonna really help it get into this nice little position here. That way we're not fighting that rail cap as you saw that we were doing right there. So that can be a quick little trick. Um, definitely either way, you can make it happen, but I definitely recommend trying to get that sliding maneuver. Definitely gonna start helping us in the long run. Now on here, I just have a little nut that I wanna go ahead and start putting on the back of that thread. You can see right where my finger is, there is that thread on the back end. So we'll go ahead and start getting that threaded down. And utilizing the 7 16 wrench, it's gonna go ahead and allow us to make sure that it is nice and tight. Now we're gonna go ahead and put on our front rail bracket. You'll notice that we have a P and F in here, designating as passenger front. Now we wanna just come right up. You see this little hole here is actually where we want to start mounting it to. Now this little metal grate is gonna fit right between our plastic and metal liner here. You will feel it, as you can see. So we're just gonna go ahead, sling that up like so, get it between the right portions. And then we're gonna go ahead and start threading in our bolt. You can see as we're starting to get a little bit tighter here, I'm gonna go ahead and use our 13 millimeter socket to go ahead and push this in and down. 
Now our next step is to actually put on our rails. We're going to make sure we are utilizing the right side, uh, no pun intended here. On right here on our passenger side, we are going to be using our right sided rail. Now how we know it's also the right way, we want that silver flange coming towards the inside of our bed. And as well as you see, we have this kind of plastic, uh, I'm sorry, rubber seal on the top of our bar here. That's going to sit right on our side rail and be creating a seal just to keep that pesky weather out of there. So we're going to go ahead and just start mounting it to get a look at what it's going to start looking like. You can see it's going to fit itself in nicely like that. So you can see here how we actually have a little bit of lift in here, and this is where really a second pair of hands can come in handy, guys. But I just want to go ahead, press down on here. I'm going to go about six and a half inches from the rear of our tailgate here. So going across just about a hand's width or so. We can come right here, find our bracket, and we can start trying to tighten these guys down. I'm going to give it just a slight little tighten just to get it in position. I can see barely by the sides where those teeth actually are. I want to go ahead and make sure they line up nicely for ourselves. So it looks like I can go about one more position up like so. Just making this a soft little close here. I don't want it falling off, but I don't want it actually tightening down. Now I want to go ahead and as I can, I want to tighten this as I push this rail down. You can see how it becomes a little bit of a hassle, but hopefully we're doing an okay enough job to make that tight. Now I want to come in with my socket. We are using a 15 millimeter here and start tightening down our clamp. And I'm just trying to be careful of getting enough pressure on here that actually popping it off and just pulling it in tight to itself. And you can see that's done a good job. No longer flexing out or up or down. It's in a good position. So we're going to go ahead and add these brackets at specific points near our tailgate. We want about six and a half inches. So you can see we have about this guy about three and a half inches from our bulkhead. And moving our way to the center, we just kind of want to eyeball it. Just somewhere right in the center is going to be good. You could measure it out if you need to. However, it's just going to be a clamp of holding down that middle. You can see it's doing a good job of bringing this in line to our entire side rail. So they're holding good. And we want to do that to our other side as well. For our next step, before we put our cover on, we want to go ahead and put on these cam buckle attachments at the top. To do so, we just have a couple already pre-drilled holes. Now in these, sometimes they can get a little filled with gunk and just a little bit of that thread left inside. So taking a small little tool to clear it out can help us in the early stages. Then we want to go ahead and take in these fasteners at the back here, just throw them through the back, put them both through. That's actually what our screws are going to start holding on to. So we can go ahead. Make sure that that's set correctly. Line up those holes like so, and start threading these on. Now all you'll need is a Phillips screwdriver. We don't want to use any power tools for this as we can end up over tightening it. And I think it helps too, just to kind of get that back thumb holding onto that striker in the back as you can see. And hopefully now it's gonna give us just enough purchase that we need to start tightening these down. And we just want to repeat the process on the other side and we're ready to start throwing our cover up on our bed. Now with the second pair of hands, we're just going to walk this to the front of our cab and gently set it down and start the next part of our install. Now that we have our cover set up on here, one thing I like to do is kind of unfurl it out and make sure that we are going to be kind of even on all sides, really checking with this tailgate as well. You can see I got it in a good position to where those seals are going to be cut by the kind of like come into by that tailgate, going to do a good job of sealing this entire thing. Definitely don't want it too much forward or too much back. Definitely going to have a little Goldilocks scenario there. But that brings us to the top here. We just want to go ahead and furl this guy out. Now we want to make sure that this outer edge is going to be landing right on our bulkhead seal, as you can see, right on the inside actually. And we want that just right up against our seal, allowing our seal to sit on the seal that we installed earlier. Good even getting right on the inside of that bulkhead. And we want to go ahead and take our big threaded bolt here. On the underside, there is going to be just a little removable kind of foam pad there. Go ahead and set that guy through, slinging our bolt through and making sure it goes underneath like so. And now we need to fold this guy over and get underneath it. 
Now we're going to come on the underside of our cover. At the top here, you're going to see that mounting bracket that we want that thread to go through. You can see ours is just pinched a little down. It's going to be okay as we're going to press that up. Now our washers are going to have a specific order. We want to have our rubber seal at the top, our stainless steel washer underneath that, and then our locking washer underneath, and then putting our hand knob underneath that. So I'm going to go ahead, try to line these guys up really quick into the thread. So as you see, I kind of got all those set, and now I just want to start rotating those up. And that should pinch in that bracket up to the top even more and start bringing this in nice and secure onto our rail system. And then we can repeat this on the other side. Now we're going to go ahead and crawl on under. At the top here, we are going to have some drain plugs. I'm going to go ahead and work this guy off. Might be a little hard to see from you guys, but hopefully you can see my pinky kind of disappear into the void right there. There is going to be a little drain plug right behind that bracket. I'm going to go ahead and just throw on one side of our plastic hose. Getting it nice and secure up there. It should just hold itself. Now this is where it's really kind of up to you guys of where you actually want to put your holes. Some people put them in the sidewall here. Some people right here. A lot of times if you don't have the spray in liner, this entire guy will actually pop right out. So that can be a nice little place. Today, since we have the spray in liner covering this hole, we're going to go ahead and actually drill in there. Now I've already gone ahead and cut off just a little bit in there because I don't really want that spray on liner fracturing throughout the entirety of our side of our bed here. So I've already gone ahead and cut out just a little portion of it but now I'm gonna go ahead and smart start a sm small hole for myself go ahead and get that plastic set to the side and we're gonna just start trying it in the center here and now we don't really don't want to go too much far forward with that bit it can be pretty long and our cab is on the other side so I've gone ahead and thrown on my step bit here so I can actually work this through now you'll notice here the safety's on for precaution. I don't want this going too deep here, obviously, but this way I can start working down just that amount of depth I actually want my plastic cap to go. We can even go ahead and see, I kind of want to do it just kind of to the middle here, maybe a little bit under it. So about four to five steps in this bit itself. So let's go ahead and start making that drill. And once we found the appropriate hole length, I just want to go ahead and stick that plastic piece in. I like to go ahead and just make sure it's set across from our hook here. That way we can still get this nice attachment point and still get full use of our bed. Now that we've got that corner, let's hop over to the other side and do the same. Now one thing with this guy, sometimes we do want to fold this up all the way towards our cab. However, as you can see as we do that, we are going to start having a little bit of contact with our cab. That's why we have these nice little kind of like rubber spacers that we can start actually putting on the edge of our cover here, that way we don't actually have any contact. So I'm gonna go ahead and start one right in the middle. So it looks like we are getting contact on our sides and we do have three of these guys. So we can go ahead and space them out. So for this guy today, I'm just gonna go ahead and try to line them up right here with my light, make sure I'm nice and even. Find where that contact would be again. So we're gonna go ahead and put it not right on the edge, but very close to it, like so. Getting it nice and even, double checking that here, pressing in, making sure that adhesive stays onto our cover. And as you can see, as I gently rest this here, now we are resting on that rubber just a little bit. I love how much this sits right underneath that light. Definitely going to be doing a good job making sure we don't have any contact there. Let's go ahead and throw the other ones on and see how those hit. You can see we have all three of our bumpers installed, and as you can see, doing a good job of absorbing any of that damage that we would be doing our cab. Now we can gently set our cover up on here. We're not gonna be too worried about this kind of scratching our paint, doing any kind of damage. So I think we're good to move on to our next step. Our next step is actually install our prop rad. Now from our experience, a lot of times these do just come installed already. You'll usually see them right on the side here. One thing that's cool, you can actually change where that clip is on the side. It's just a little plastic clip that you can slide up or down, depending on where you want that connection point to be made. Now that we have most of our install done, all we really want to do is start walking this guy down and making sure he is seating properly. Go ahead and give him a nice little latch as we go and just gently walking it out can be good. Now on the inside here, you'll notice that these are seating properly there on the rest of us. So as I bring this guy forward, I'll show you what I mean. We want to make sure that these guys are 
going ahead and latching on the inside of the middle there. You can see that is how they want to sit. If we're on the outside, then that means we might have to back up those knobs that we tightened at the front by the cab and start shifting the rest of our cover. Let me go ahead and double check these guys, make sure they're nice and tight on here. Give them a solid push. They're doing a good job of latching in and I can bring up my tailgate and it's doing a good job of making a seal at the top there. We are wanting the top of that cover just to sit on that very top of our tailgate. Well, I think that about does it for our look at the backflip F1 hard tonneau cover on our 2021 Ford Ranger. I'm Bobby, thank you for watching.